Well, Kannapolis is going bananas for the Savannah Bananas. It was a sold out show at Atrium Health Ballpark tonight as a social media sensation took on the party animals. In Queen City News, Northeast Bureau Chief Cindy Heiberger spent the evening checking out the wacky sights and sounds and tells us this circus like entertainment all started right here in our area. The Bananas team owner told me this is the first time the team has ever played in Kannapolis and it's one of the smallest stadiums they've ever played. But as someone who got his career start in the region, he said it was important for the Bananas to make a connection with the local community. <laughs> Tickets to the Savannah Bananas two night show at Atrium Health Ballpark have been sold out for months and it's not an uncommon story for this fans first baseball circus. We've been trying to get tickets for two years and uh uh, my daughter finally got onto the lottery. George Papella and his family flew in from Florida for this night of wackiness. And he's not the only one who traveled a long distance. We're from Flintstone, Georgia, just outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's about a six hour drive. We made the trip to see the bananas. Team owner Jesse Cole says he formed the team seven years ago with hopes of making baseball fun again. That dream has now turned into dancing umpires, players and even Nana's. He definitely said he's looking for the best line group dance, but they had to be seniors. For Cole, being here is extra special. Having his career start in Gastonia, it's nostalgic to look back on where it all began. I started in, in Gastonia as a general manager at 23 years old, and there was literally only $268 in the bank account my first day, 200 fans coming to the games, and we built it into something special. And now to see, you know, the wait list is over 800,000 right now for tickets. It's unbelievable. For those lucky enough to get off that wait list, a night of downright silliness they won't soon forget. They're the Harlem Globetrotters of baseball, and who doesn't love a good show? Tuesday and Wednesday's game are all part of the Banana Ball World Tour, and the Bananas are scheduled to play next in Durham on Friday and Saturday night. Those games are also sold out. I'm reporting in Kannapolis, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News.